What's good? <laughs> What's good, my nigga? What's good, man? How you doing? I'm straight, man. How the, what the fuck you got going on? I ain't got shit, man. That jacket's What's, sweet. Dude, your mama got me this that shit. That shit like my... got insulation in it. Yeah, dude, like, your, your mama got me this shit for my birthday. Man, shut the fuck up, bro. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Introduce our guest, man. Hey, man. Our next guest, man. Introduce yourself. Hey, how y'all guys doing? My name's um, <laughs> Demico Phillips. It's like I laugh at everything this nigga say because I feel like he be like trying to be silly. Oh, that, oh, I, hey, I straight forgot I got niggas son. What? Bottle. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh shit! 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 Oh Damn, yeah, I, pre- I appreciate y'all bringing me on. This is my Absolutely, first time doing the interviews. Man. Absolutely, you. man. Wait, we, only right did it. Take that. we only did it because your last name Phillips. Oh, yeah, definitely. You niggas used to be like, is that your brother? <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Yeah, so um, so what you got going on nowadays, Miko? Shit, man, for real. You know, I keep looking at the mic like this. Like I'm ready to spit some hot fire. Nah, but for real, just... Get closer to the mic. Oh, my fault. Yeah. It's better? Yeah, yep. I bet. Nah, basically, you know, just grinding, you know, I do the whole video shit full time. Right. It's my, um, shit, I'm already going to fifth year of doing it full time. So, you know, yeah. just doing that, taking care of my family, you know. Oh, yeah. Congratulations on your family, by the way, man. I appreciate yeah, yeah. it. I see the Congrats. little one. You got to, you got to young lady, man. Y'all look beautiful, man. Yeah, man. You know, we just trying to show black excellence. You know? <laughs> Word. Word. Damn, I fucked this shit all up. I'm going to be honest. You was one of the first niggas. I don't, I don't even say one of the first niggas. You are the first nigga that I've seen doing videos. And when I say doing videos, I mean picking up a camera and recording people, whether you recording yourself, whether you recording other people. First nigga I ever seen touch a camera. Hey, yeah, bro. Shit. Oh, my fault. Oh, no. I say shit. Nigga, since high school, for real. Right. Nigga, taking pictures and video. I really wasn't shooting music videos like that, right. for real. Like, like in my 12th grade year, but. Right. You know, I always had the camera and shit. My mom always had the video camera, football oh, really? games and shit. Oh, okay. She'd be Yo, she was at every practice. Yo. She was at every <laughs> practice. I oh. remember when I got... Oh, that shit crazy. Hey. <laughs> they got the smoke coming out of the young. <laughs> I remember when I got hurt. Like, I used to be up there anyway, and she was always there, bro. She oh, was always shit. there. I used to be sitting up there talking with her and shit. Then it was crazy because my dad was my football coach. <laughs> yeah. My dad was my football coach, like, throughout coach the... Coach Phillips. Stop. That's good. Okay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to drink this shit up. I ain't taking this shit on. Shit. I remember Coach Phillips said, uh, get you. in there and play some Hawkback, Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> to me. I was like, who the fuck is a Hawkback? <laughs> now, let's go ahead. Cheers, man. I think that this your first, is this your first interview that's going to be out? Yeah, yeah, first interview. Mm. I never did an interview for Shout me. out to D'Amico Phillips. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to y'all. Y'all already know. Oh. Oh, this is good. <clears throat> I know y'all heard that we got the, uh, the the the, the bubbly <laughs> young Trey P in the back, U- ugly motherfucker. What's happening with Can you? I give me a little couple of Mr. Bobby. Damn, damn, Keisha. So, was twelfth grade? Was that when you started doing videos? Um, I want to say. Shit, for real. This nigga. Oh, shit. Yo, bro, you. getting crazy. He's trying to whack this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> 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 nigga, hey. nigga ready to be ripped. Yo. <laughs> but nah, shit, you know what's funny, though? Like, the first videos I actually was recording was, like, videos of me dancing and shit. You know, when they the jerk. Yeah. <laughs> they used to jerk and shit. Hey. <laughs> jerk. I ain't gonna lie, yo. Jerking was fun. No homo. Hey, look, and I used to see y'all doing that shit, and I, 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 I couldn't do I used to be mad. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> These niggas are sweet, that bro. That shit's sweet, bro. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was left out. I made that shit cool in Virginia. No That's it. I remember you came you to did. school with the snake pants. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. This and you know what's crazy? Nigga tested me at the fucking, um, at the fucking um, movie theater. I ended up getting a fight with a nigga. He tried to test me because I had a high top point. So uh-huh. some, <laughs> some leopard pants or skinny, whatever the fuck they was. Right. 
told the nigga to step outside. Nigga was big as hell. Oh, I held my ground though. <laughs> <laughs> look, I thought my, look, I thought my, look, I, it was like it was like five of my niggas with me. I, I'm thinking like we don't jump this bitch, nigga. <laughs> I'm fighting them like niggas just standing around. I'm like, what the fuck? Niggas watching. This nigga, please, <laughs> oh, nigga, break it up, <laughs> bro. Shit was wild. Get this nigga off me. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Nah, for real. So you said um, it was kind of around 12th grade when you started. So you started doing videos of yourself. When did you start to Say, hey, I can actually take this camera, record other people, and get money for it. I mean, really, it started. It started like the eleventh grade, really. Um, I had a couple of people, like friends. Shout out to J Rock, still locked up and shit. J Rock, shoddy. But um, yeah, D Rock, shoddy. J Rock, shoddy. Yeah, two D. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was um, I shot some of their first videos, you know, and once I started doing that, I started. I think, man, I was starting. I was charging people like. Forty dollars for mm. music video, sixty dollars at the highest. Excuse me. I'm Excuse drunk. me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Like after after that, like twelfth grade came around. I'm like, man, I don't even want to play football no more. I don't want to do track no more. And like for real, I, I stopped taking the shit serious to the point like, you know, I was like, fuck it. Right. I went to college, you know, for football, and I ended up dropping out like second semester. Damn. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I told myself, I'm like, man, fucking, I ride working nine to five and do videos on the side, so that's what I was doing. Mm. I remember you on MySpace, bro. I remember you had the movement picture videos. Yo, and I, and I, I hit you up. I was oh, like, bro, I was like, yo, how the fuck do you do that shit? Bro? Yo, nigga did the shit when you put his hand over the yeah. hand over the uh, the camera and then the outfit switching shit. Oh. Yo, I was like, bro, how do you do this, bro? See, kids think they own that shit now with TikTok. Niggas been yeah. doing that hey, shit. We've been doing MySpace. that shit for real. We was basically coders, like. Like putting the code hey. in to change the layout and shit for our MySpace. Remember what that shit was called? Free web. Free web. Yeah. Shit. yeah. <laughs> Bro, hey, that was a good days. And niggas used to have fun. Yo, I remember I had I had like I used to I used to have females making fan um fan pictures for oh, me yeah, like with girl the had, shit. Yeah, girl had her titties. Like she held her titties and had my name on her. That shit was crazy. She probably got a beating for that shit. Bro, <laughs> bro, hey, bro, like, hey, when I really think about it, like niggas was only like fifteen, That's what I'm saying, like man. fourteen, thirteen, like. Man, that shit was crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, what was I already saying? I was about, all right, so you, I don't know. I fucking yeah, lost my man. point. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas got lost. <laughs> so, would you say, which of the lifestyle did you like better? Because you, you played football in high school and you was really good. Everybody knew you probably in the, in the city. Anybody who was in in the whole high school football arena, they knew who D'Amico Phillips was. Did you like that lifestyle better or kind of or the lifestyle that you're living now with being known for doing videography? I mean, for the most part, like, the football lifestyle, it was fun. <clears throat> but it just got it got to the point, it it became too easy. Like, people look at me crazy, like, what? Like, it's to the point, like, it wasn't challenging anymore. It was just like, all right, like, this shit too easy. I want to I wanna challenge. So I knew if I... Switched everything, start from the ground level with this whole video stuff. It would be a challenge, you know what I'm saying? I know I wouldn't overnight become like the best video photographer right. person in the world. So, right. I mean, it's still a challenge right now. That's why I enjoy doing it still. Damn. So a lot of people mm -hmm. wouldn't want to get out of their comfort zone, especially if, if you were a star football player. Niggas don't want to let that go. Hell no. Nah. This nigga says fifty right now. <laughs> don't want to let that shit go. Back nah, in my day, <laughs> but you, you, you did it in your prime. To pursue something else. That's crazy. Yeah, it like sometimes I look back on it like, damn. Like I get lost for words sometimes because it's it's like I probably that could have probably really changed my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't the biggest running back or anything, but like I I had talent to be able to make it to the, the next level easily. I already know. Mm -hmm. You know, but I just I looked at it like in the long run, like twenty years from that time, like trying to trying to raise a family and stuff. You see, like, the awareness, like, people be committing suicide mm -hmm. from football, concussions and shit. So mm -hmm. I was looking at I was looking at that shit, and you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to risk it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think the only thing I have to worry about now is dodging bullets and shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of dodging bullets, y'all just dropped that picture. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, like, with, with the guns and the camera, because I'm sure everybody knows 
a, a cameraman recording rap videos, you got a lot of niggas pointing guns at you. That got to be a weird feeling. What's that like? Uh, it's definitely crazy. Shout out, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? You let, let me hold your sticks and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Pause. You know what I mean? I, yeah, yeah. That, that was kind of crazy. You know, I got my own, but we don't talk about that. Shout out to my boy. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds crazy, too. <laughs> hey, shout out to Trey P, man. You know what I'm saying? We always collabor- collaborating on shit. Yeah, shout out to Trey P, bitch ass. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, Trey P the homie, though. Shit. Hey, I ain't doing a lot. Like, I remember Trey P was hit me up to, you know. Oh, yeah, how'd you meet him? Yeah, so. Go, go ahead and settle this once for all. <laughs> so, <laughs> how did you meet Trey P? So, you hit me up. You hit me no, no. <laughs> You hit me up saying, you know what I'm saying? My cousin getting video shit, boom, boom, fuck with him. So, you know what I'm saying? All right, bet. So, then this nigga hit me up. For some drone footage. Yo, I got a crazy story about Trey P. ass, too. <laughs> so, we link up at um, Virginia Union and shit. You know, I get the drone footage and shit, so. Like, hey, the Miko likes to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. Hey, hey, hey nah, hey, nah, hey, nah. Trey P. was humble as hell, though, for real. <laughs> Look, we talking, so. I think a shorty, a shorty passed by our son. The nigga talking about like he ate her ass and some ah, more shit. Bro, yo, the nigga Trey P a freaky boy for real. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, look, I would never smoke a blunt after him. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, bro, freaky as hell. <laughs> bro, come, bro, come defend yourself, bro. Hey. He can't defend himself. <laughs> but not <laughs> But look, no, no, no. On the on the real shit though, like I knew right then and there, like, Trey P was serious. He was passionate about, you know what I'm saying, shooting videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he took the time to book me, you know what I'm saying, book me to fuck with him, really. You know what I'm saying? And, excuse me, damn. After that, I was like, man, like, I got to fuck with dude, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this your interview, nigga? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. Nah, nah, so nah, for real, like, we didn't, we didn't travel together a lot for real like i took him to chicago with me and shit you know what i'm saying for a video shoot that that was pretty dope you know so i really didn't want to go to chicago by myself right you know what i mean so we did Trey, come get killed with me yeah man shout out to trade for you though man that's game game y'all want some more y'all good damn you babysitting I and, <laughs> this nigga what's up with this nigga you want me to pull up? I had, I had more than both of y'all. You did. You had a lot. I'm drunk, y'all, off this leg. Man, it's what I got. No, I feel it. No, I feel it. I I'm, definitely I'm slowing feel down. Shit. I ain't trying to be. I'm <laughs> slowing down. I'm getting hot. I had like four sips. Yo. So as far as your, as far as videography, how do you feel as far as about doing like full length films, like movies? Yeah, man, that's the goal. I feel like that's every, you know what I'm saying, director, <clears throat> cinematographer's goal. You know what I'm saying? That... That's I want to direct, you know what I'm saying, feature film like that. That would be lovely. I want to do that. Um, besides videos, for I'm trying to get, I'm trying to own property and stuff, man. I'm trying to get into the real estate, flipping homes. You know, I'm trying to venture off into other shit. Cause you know what I'm saying the video shit, it can last forever, but you know having different revenues of cash, you know what I'm saying coming in, like that's what it's about. And I got a kid, so right. I want to be able to pass down these businesses to the children. Right. Oh, yeah. So did you ever so I, I heard you mention um like the real estate and stuff. Did you ever think about getting into the stock market? Or Oh I'm I'm into the stock market already. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so when you know the thing <laughs> Hey, give me some <laughs> give me some bubbly. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle T. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I ended up getting into the stocks, but I tricked the bag one of these stocks. So I was getting into a penny stock. Right. And I did my research for like a week. You know what I'm saying? Day and night. I'm going to get back into it and shit, but I haven't had time. But anyways, I think I ended up buying like, how many stocks? I know I put, I put like 1100 into it, right? It was like at 60 cents. The shit ended up going up to like four dollars, and I came up like fifty five hundred. Oh, mm. So I did so much, my dumb ass. You know I'm being greedy. Nigga, see that number? You like, see, I can get more. <laughs> yup, man, I that's what happened, you, bro. bro. That's what happened. I'm like, damn, I can get more. So because when I, when I did my research, 
it was projected to go way over that, like eight dollars. So right. I'm like, all right, when it gets to like six, I'll pull out <clears> whatever. But this this like famous person that's known for like dropping fake bad news on stocks dropped the fucking bad news on the shit. So I ended up sitting on it. I woke up the next day, my shit was in the negative. Ooh. Oh my god, in the fucking negative. Oh my so god. nigga woke up like. <laughs> Yeah, nah, for real. <laughs> See, I learned my lesson about... Yo, penny stocks are dangerous, for real. Word. But yeah, I learned my lesson about that. So, I mean, I ended up recouping that money back with a different stock, but... Well, not making, like, four or five racks, but right, I made, right. I made the money I lost. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I made that back, so... Yeah, man, I I encourage everybody to get into stocks. Y'all into stocks? No. no. Bro, I, y'all, y'all need to get into stocks. And for real, they saying, like, since Biden ready to be president, the shit don't drop back down, because, you know, he don't shut shit back down. So... Mm. Definitely getting the stocks because I know I bought I bought a casino stock. I probably I bought ten of them, like ten shares. I think for like I want to say around like eight dollars. Right now it's up like sixty four dollars. I didn't made over a thousand dollars off of ten stocks. Right. So imagine if I had the knowledge that I that I didn't have at that time, nigga. I would have bought man. I would have bought like two thousand worth of. Two thousand dollars worth of stocks, yeah. right? Nigga, I'll be up. So right. it's like, man, like especially like in the like, like the black community and shit. Like we not hip to shit like that for real, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, like us coming up, like we're not, we're not, we don't have like uncle. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I ain't have aunts and uncles that's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You put a hundred dollars into Apple back in the day or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nigga would have been right. a millionaire or some shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? We don't get shit like that. So. Right. I just want to encourage everybody, you know what I'm saying, to get into that. And, like, this is the best time to get it. Like, shit, the government giving out free money and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, Flip take it. that. Flip it. Take no, that for risk, real. nigga. Yeah. Take the risk. <laughs> fuck it. If you lose it, fuck it. It was free. <laughs> if you go to jail, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> get it when you come home, yo. <laughs> but, no, see, my issue with stocks was you got to trade during the day. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, yeah. So, I think the, the stock... I'm on Robin Hood. Okay. So the actual stock opens up at nine thirty and I believe it closed at four thirty. But they have like yeah. uh, See, they have like a <laughs> they have like an early hour. I think the early hour for Robin Hood opened up I think like eight or some shit. I don't know. Right. And it stays open till like like five thirty or some six or some shit like that. But yeah, bro, get into it. Like you can you can make some money. It's it's motherfuckers out here that's actually like doing this shit for a living. Stop. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, you can definitely lose a lot of money. Like if you don't do yeah. your research and actually like no shit, you can lose a lot of money. Hope like gladly I was blessed and I did my research and I ended up getting in a group that the dude actually knew shit. Like the nigga was giving us like stocks that will blow up like weeks before. You know what I'm saying? The stock that I did, I ended up finding it myself, but it was stocks like he was giving us. Like, it was a stock called Solo. It's an electric. Like electric car, like Tesla. Right. Like the motherfucker, I ended up getting into it, but I ended up getting out of it. Like the shit, when I got into it, was like 80 cents. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right now, the shit, I think it's like at $5. So it was like, damn, Damn. if I would have just left the shit in there. Yeah, you'd have been all right. Nigga, it'd be all right right now, but it's just like, it's a risk. I like Mm -hmm. risk. I love gambling. You know what I'm saying? So when the casinos were closed, this was my gambling. Uh, So yeah. (laughs) I got into. Forex. Oh trading. my god! <laughs> like, um, what, what forex? Yes, yeah, for you. No, look, it made sense for <laughs> me right, because right, I can't, me. I can't trade during the day. I do. I got a day job where the hours in which the market is open, I can't do it. So, yeah. forex, you can trade all day. All yeah, night. Yep. And it, it made sense for me, and I made money, but then I lost it at the same time, being greedy, like not knowing when to get out of shit, but. I think I should get back into it because like it's just one thing that they got called um, HFX high frequency trading. Nigga, you make money in fucking blink of an eye. I'll show you niggas like nah, definitely. I'll, I'll show y'all later. But the thing I don't like <clears throat> that niggas be fucking it up for forex people when they do the team shit. Then you end up having to pay monthly basis, like yeah, niggas do be trying to do that. Yeah, like, they finesse it. It's like bro. it's like you fucking it up. Come on, bro. Like you can learn the shit by yourself, but it's really hard to, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'm not good with numbers and doing all that shit. But 
It's like motherfuckers be making groups and yeah, that's charging the wag people part. That's the wag monthly part. and, hey, come get this money or us, but they never show how much right. money they losing. It's like, motherfucker, <laughs> you just want my money then. If I get yeah. somebody to join with me, I don't have to pay it no more. Then I get somebody else to join me. I'm yeah. making $100 a month. And you know, because you can somebody- do it too. Face yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. But no, I, I definitely, Forrest is cool. You can definitely make money for Forrest. And like the only, the, and another thing, you got to get like a broker or some some shit like that, right? Yeah, but like it's a, just like a... Um, it's not that hard, right? No. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know, man. Shit. Man, hey, come come to the dark side. Come to Robin Hood. <laughs> I wish. Like, I, I really want to. Nah, Richard, hit me up. I'll teach you some shit for real. I just can't. I, I'm, that, I'm not trading during the day, though. That's your cousin Trey P fucking playing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, they hey, don't want to trade no stocks? We don't talk about that. <laughs> man, the, only, the closest I got to that, I tried when they did that Bitcoin shit. Bitcoin. And then I, oh, then I yeah, tried the, the Bitcoin and the, what, what, the Litecoin. Litecoin. Yeah, yeah, I tried both. Of those. Hey, hey, hey wait, remember wait, I called you about that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy? Litecoin, I think, it hopped up probably like two months ago because of TikTok. That's bro, cool. niggas on TikTok said everybody buy into it. That bitch jumped up crazy, and niggas, some niggas turned into like millionaires overnight. The shit was bro, wild. You like, ain't even look at yours. It could have been you. Bro, nah. A little I, I, booty I, ass. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got an email from that shit because I'm on checking it. They, they had um, like stop my shit. They kicked your so shit out. So I got out. it verified. Yeah. How was the Bitcoin shit? Did you put a lot of money in? Well, bro, when did no. You, I, I ain't do enough, bro. I when did, did you? Did. All right. So when you put money into it, when did you like get into no, it? It was too late. Yeah, I think that joint was like ten thousand dollars, bro. So, oh, yeah, so I, I had, we got that I, shit. I did, yeah, so like my joint said zero point zero zero zero. But it went like, all the way up to nineteen. You was going through cash app? Am I? No, Bitcoin went up to nineteen thousand. Huh, oh, let me what, look at Bitcoin what, right what, now. What to get one for, right. for one joint? Right. Yeah, when I did that joint at the time, it was like ten thousand. I was like, man. Matter of fact, hold on. Nah, I don't even got that. I know I don't got that app no more. I don't more. even got service. My shit. I know I don't got that. That Litecoin. You want to get on the Wi-Fi? Nah, nah, man, I need a whole job. Yeah, nah, man. nah. Bitcoin. I remember Bitcoin before, like when the stock market crashed. That shit went to like three thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. Word. Niggas was supposed to hop on that. We fucked up. <laughs> I didn't Bruh. even know that. Bro, no, it yeah. dropped to like two thousand dollars, three thousand. Hold on, this Yo. was after it was up ten. You talking about COVID? Yeah, this was like what, like around March, March when oh, COVID first hit. Shit. March, it, the shit crashed and went to like two bands. And what now? What is it at right now? Like nineteen thousand or some shit? It might be at like nineteen thousand. Niggas 16, probably 000. sick. Oh, bro, we could have came up. Niggas could have bought like two bitcoins. Bro, been all right. That's why we talk about Yo, man, black community. Real. We don't be knowing shit yeah. like this. Shit, sick. Fucking bitcoin. Damn, man, bro. shout out to Biden, man. Hopefully he crashes <laughs> shit again. He said, shout out. He said he, <laughs> that's his name, right? Biden, Joe he Biden. Said, Hopefully he crashes shit again. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hopefully you, you fuck us up some more. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that was crazy. I said that. No, the nigga don't shut shit down. Look, nigga don't shut shit down. So you know the stock door, fuck up. Then the, <laughs> the feds are the belt. No, no, real shit, bro. Because no, nah, nah, he's smart shutting shit down because Trump bitch ass. He, ah, COVID's not real. You know what I'm saying? That shit's real. Motherfuckers dying every day, B. But you know what I mean? Once once Biden shut shit back down, the stock market's gonna crash back. So we all have a second chance. Y'all hear that? This fucking shit. money. This hey. is real time. shit. When this shit crashes. Real shit. Look. I don't want to hear nothing about look, I don't know. I mark don't my know. words. I say around January, February at the latest, the shit's going to drop back down. No, but you know Biden get in the office like January 30th. Oh, damn. Yeah. All right. So around February, March at the latest, the shit's going to crash again. <laughs> mark my words. this shit to happen? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. Nah, no cap. I really hey. wanted to. I really wanted to, bro, because like what? what they say? The, um... The Great Depression or recession or whatever. That's when a lot of motherfuckers was buying stocks and all that shit. It's like it's like that shit all over again. So like this is our time to do it. Like niggas should yeah. know. Yeah. That's the importance of looking back at history. That shit makes sense though. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Shit. How we miss out, bro. We whack as a bitch. What? Yeah. On the fuck I, I, I kinda I, I knew about it, but it was just taking that leap of faith. I took that leap of faith. Like, yeah, fuck be it. scared to miss that money. Fuck it's so it, bro. Crazy. Like, how much? I put, I put like, I want to say all together, like 1800 maybe 2000 I didn't profit like 2500 so far. And that's without me, like, when I didn't know no knowledge of it and shit. So, I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good. That's a yeah. win. That's a W. Mm-hmm. Then I got the little card. Where my card at? I don't even know where it's at. What but I got the do? little card. Like, nigga, you can go to any bank and pull the money out anytime. Really? Yeah. What? Any AT and T, 
It, it tells you like where AT and T's you can go to. BB and T. Anything. AT and T. That's a phone store. <laughs> you you, said, said, you, said you said BB mean BBN. I didn't say that. You, you said. You mean that? I said ATL. ATL. Damn. This nigga burnt. Look. Yo. ATL. That's crazy. They give you a free iPhone. <laughs> yo, yo, this champagne. Hey, shout, shout out to Total Wine. Nigga hey, Total Wine. Yo, nigga told bent. me to buy this. Like, look, <laughs> look, look, the nigga, the nigga like, yo, bro, for real. Like, I, I have a, <laughs> no, for real, white dude. He like, bro, I, I have a champagne addiction. Like, I didn't spend over $3,000 champagne. You want to see my champagne collection? Nigga, <laughs> nigga pulls out his phone, shows me the shit. I'm like, oh, this nigga's serious. He like, bro, if you, you really, you know what I'm saying, you want to impress somebody and get this shit, like, you should get it. It's only $50. That shit ain't coming to $60. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> this shit good, though. I fuck with this. This nigga Miko came here and got us drunk. <laughs> All right, so we can go ahead and circle back. Um, is there any Richmond music artists you know of? Nah, I actually don't fuck with um Richmond. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking this with you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but man, my homie, man, the socket. You know what I mean? Socket. We um we started we started early in the the game. Like the song, what was it? Ride out. You know, I heard it on his Instagram. And he ended up shooting a video. He shot a video for it at first, but the shit fucking sucked. <laughs> like, I told him straight, I was like, bro, your video suck. This song is a hit. Even if I don't shoot it, like, get somebody that's a professional to shoot it. And bro was you like... You try to come with that angle. Look, <laughs> yeah. don't, you don't have to use me, bro. But yeah. Yeah. And no, but I, no, I was, no, for real, I was serious, though. Because I had that much faith in that song. Right. But he was like, shit, I'm going to fuck with you. And I'm like, man, you know, you don't, you don't got to pay me shit. Like, I'm going to turn this shit up. So we ended up linking up shot it and the nigga like like damn I appreciate you nigga ended up throwing me like four or five hundred dollars I'm like damn appreciate you mm -hmm. so like I get home I end up editing the video in like two hours sent the shit to him he like damn bro this shit hard let's drop it right now I'm like huh you sure dropped it I think like within hours like that bitch had like ten thousand views where you drop it at and the shit we dropped it on my page okay I think right now it's like over you like two hundred k or some shit huh you got clout nigga yeah. nah I definitely do though real shit like, <laughs> nah nah but nah me and artist I said me and artist me and sock like I told the nigga I said man give me about like give me less than a year like I'm gonna blow you up no lie like within six months we in New York. Like at the record label office, you know what I'm saying? Talk. We went to like three different record labels, and like one of the record label, I forgot the name, they fucking name. I don't be knowing these motherfuckers for real. But um, they end up telling us to come back like a week after, but then he ended up going on the run. So mm, damn. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, the first place I heard of his music was from your page. I think the first video I saw, and we talked about it in one episode of the podcast. The joint Kilo, where he was, he was just in a house, had like the purple lights and some shit. That shit was so fucking yo hard, niggas bro. loved, it. and you know, you know, it's crazy. It, it was um, I think it was a shot like it was one shot like niggas turning up behind him and shit. Yo, I fucking hated that video. That was like I hated that video, really? and the shit pissed me off because the nigga crib we <clears> used, <throat> like we usually have this one shot. The nigga had a fluffy ass cat. So we was all, hard look, we used to have him holding a cat with a serious face with a gun in his hand. And the bitch ass nigga was like, nah, you can't put my cat in the video. I'm like, you're a bitch. That would have been so hard. I, like, bro, I was, like, I was ready to leave the video shooting everything. So I'm like, nah, yeah. bro, let's just shoot it. I'm like, nah, bro, in the way, he's a bitch. So yeah, that would have turned the video up for real. I'm about to pull up the, I'm, I'm going to try to find the clip. Oh, I know where I can find it at. And I want you to tell me how you got this angle right here. And I'm going I'm to I'm I'm put it up on the screen too. Cause I don't understand this shit. Is it a stop video or something? no? It's the same way. It's it's the, like the the the, gen, the the thing that y'all posted on Instagram. You gotta tell me how you got this. Right. I'm gonna tell you. Like a uh, oh no, this is a whole different video. Yeah, what I'm talking about. Oh no, this shit was hard. Watch this. That part. How the fuck did you do that? Well, like to turn it? No, like look. Oh, you talking about like the? Look how this nigga head came back and you like. Hold up. Put it in her sinus. Clocks under my mattress. Cops are never finding. How did you end up like that, bro? Bro, it, for real. Like, Watch when you say brightness, Key. Like real shit. It's just like me and Sot. Like we really had that chemistry. It's like we could read each other before we're even like before the shit would happen. 
So it was just like a camera movement. Like we was both like making eye contact and we just moving together like the shit. Bro, I miss that nigga for real, man. Like, bro, we used to make magic. And like, if you look at his like earlier videos, like just the way he looks into the camera and shit. You can see that demon, like it, he yeah. nigga look like a demon, like like that one in New York when the nigga was just standing yeah, in the bro, middle. Yeah, bro, like how he was looking to the camera, like people even said, like bro, like that, like that nigga like a straight demon, like the <laughs> look that he just gives, like it's like nigga be he look through your fucking soul, and like that's why it touched a lot of people for real. He had a lot of haters in Richmond, like niggas always say like yeah, the nigga not from Richmond for real, and boom, 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 and mm. like, it's like. Oh, like nigga trying to put on for Richmond. He from exactly. Richmond though. Like nigga living in Barra. Like nigga stamped him and shit. I think yeah, Barra. But it's like nigga trying to put on for the city and y'all niggas hating on him. Like if he puts on for the city and niggas see the shit, nigga y'all can blow That's up. That's the floodgates. Man, mm-hmm. everybody bro. gonna be looking here and a lot of more niggas get on. Bro, I used to have artists hit me up like, damn, bro, why I don't get the sock treatment or yeah, what? like damn, bro, like why you not just turn my video up like sock like what? <laughs> Like, nigga, your song suck. <laughs> your song suck, and nigga, you haven't you haven't made nigga you haven't made that relationship with me. You just come out the cut and just want to, yo, give me the sock treatment. Like what? Like nigga, we really built a relationship from the ground up. So it's like, man, niggas be weird in Richmond for real. Weirdos, yeah. man. Yeah, his music's hard. I wish I wish he was in a different situation where he could still be putting shit out. Cause I was looking forward to each each little snippet the nigga put up. I was on that shit. His um his cousin though I'm ready to work with the nigga a lot, and we ready to work like had a little fall off with this dumb motherfucker. But I'm ready to start working with him again. Um, shout out to Lebert. I be saying your name crazy as fuck, but Lebert. Le- yeah, Lebert. L A. Then it's like B B V R K or some shit like that. Lebate. Yeah, Lebate. I'm tripping. Yeah, Lebate. <laughs> you talking about? Yeah, Lebate. Man, I'm always so, yeah. You see this nigga? I always fuck your name up. But yeah, bro, hard. Bro, definitely hard. He he got yeah, some fire. Similar style. Similar um, style, yeah. yeah similar but style. It's kind of like the ASAP mob, like similar yeah, yeah, style, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you know, yeah. he got his own style. Yep. So yep. I feel like he can pick up the torch and, you know what I'm saying, take off with the shit. He he dope as hell for real, so shout out to him. Yeah, I haven't heard any of his stuff, but do you know if he got stuff on like streaming platforms? Um, I know he got he got some YouTube videos out, of course. I, I shot one of his videos, but um, yeah, he got some dope shit out. We ready to work soon, though. I'm a I'm a, I'm a pipe that nigga up. No home. I'm a pipe. Him up. <laughs> hey, that's yo. crazy. No, 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 no. You gotta say, yo. You gotta say something different. Yo. Yo. Uh, I thought he could be like, hey, pipe, pipe him up. Like no. I thought. Oh my fault. All right, I'm gonna turn him up. Damn. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yo. Now. Yo. I get it now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, Pooty. <laughs> hey, y'all niggas funny. Hey, y'all niggas <laughs> funny. <bro. laughs> That's exactly what I was doing, bro. Nigga, fuck you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> niggas terrible. Yo, what about any local businesses? Like, you know anybody who who, who is making some noise out here that we ain't talked about that that deserves some type of shine? I feel like my eyes is red. <laughs> nah, you good? This ain't Keon eyes red as hell. <laughs> but man, you know, shout out to um. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Froze, you know, formerly known as Mini Bar. Shout out to Mommy Eyes. They got a new, you know, gourmet pizza. They be they be putting fucking lobsters and shrimp mm, and grits on this that's shit. That's the one I want. The lobster that shit pizza. Good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They had to be high when they made them shit. So <laughs> <laughs> for real. Nigga <laughs> chef. So yeah, man, shout out to them. Um yo, shout out to Troy Hughes. Like a nigga be selling sea moss and shit. For real? Yeah, you know, y'all heard of sea moss. Yeah. You know they say shit's supposed to make your dick. Stick up and shit, <laughs> nothing, all that, but you know it's very healthy. So shouts to him, you know, nigga on his model and shit too. So yeah, he killing oh, that yeah. shit. We talked about his pursuit eating line, um, one of the episodes back. back oh yeah, now nah, that shit dope as hell. That like, shit it, is kind of sweet. That yeah, shit is nigga sweet. said kind of sweet. No, 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 that's just, <laughs> he damn, was hating on him. He that's, was hating on him on the, on the last song. <laughs> that's just how I talk. Like, but no, that shit is sweet. He definitely got some sweet shit. Yeah, on no, that. It's, I feel like it's one of, like the top brands in Richmond. Like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's real. It, like, the material, like, if niggas, like, never seen it in person or whatever, like, his material is really good. Like, it ain't no, like, Walmart shit, so. Word. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Troy. And I oh, think shit. I was saying, like, that bomber-style jacket. I always wanted to wear that type of shit, but I never found one that looked good. He got one. I got to go back to the website and remember what it was, but when I seen it, I was like, 
I could probably really wear that one. He was like, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, like nigga, why that. you whispering? <laughs> I ain't whispering, nigga. Said this. this nigga <laughs> ugly. This nigga look like you a drunk. hamster with a fucking, <laughs> fucking fur ball on his head. <laughs> what? You look like Simba. Shut up. <laughs> that was he funny. Dr- he, said he, news, was dr- <laughs> he said he was drunk. He said he drunk. In other news. Shut up, you slave. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's foul. Oh <laughs> Damn, that's a low ball. <laughs> Shout out to the former slaves. <laughs> hey, this nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> so look, you, you mentioned mommy on his mommy on his dough. Is there anyone else that you want to talk about? <laughs> Yo, <retarded>. Um <laughs> like as far as businesses. Yeah, or okay, maybe not even necessarily a business, but somebody who might be another videographer. Might be somebody creating art, painting. Um, Anything. you know, shout out to Trey P. Shout out to my dog Fool with the camera, nigga, nigga, um, Atlanta. Like nigga, turned up from DC. Mm. You know, fuck with him. Um, I've seen that name before. Yeah, bro, dope as hell. We was actually on tour. Like when I went on tour with Chief Keep, I ended up running into him and shit. So what was that like? Yeah, that shit, man. That shit was. That shit was cool as hell. I ain't fuck with Chief Keef Entourage, though. Them niggas was weird. Word. You know, they called me weird, but them niggas was weird. But um, <laughs> Chief Keef, that nigga's smart. You know what I'm saying? He's an intelligent motherfucker. Like, a nigga be the last one to go to sleep, first one up every day for like a month straight. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to him. Shout out to Fool. That shit was cool. He was he was the first person I seen, like, um, as far as doing, like, as far as with the artists. Right. From Richmond doing jumps. Right. What, me? Even, yeah. What Even, you mean? As far as like what? Like following them, doing Oh, the following. All right, yeah. yeah. Yo, Those yo, the, so look. Yo, my fault. Shout out to the fucking um, mattress guy, Desmond. Desmond Chapman. He used to be DJ Daz. Like, and me and that nigga, that nigga put me in a position to go on tour. So shout out to him. But like, me and that nigga, like, I used to pick him up from his crib. Like, when the artists and shit would be like performing at the club. And like, Either he hit the uh, the manager up for the artist, or I hit the manager up, and the nigga be like, "Yo, you know, I got this dope ass video guy. Like, can we come through get some footage for y'all, get photos for y'all and shit?" And like, bro, we used to be up like, nigga, it'd be like twelve, one o'clock in the morning, waiting for the manager to hit us back. Like, it's sometimes like I'd be like five minutes ready to drop him off at his crib, and a manager would hit us up nah. like, "Yo, where y'all at?" Niggas had to turn all the way back around and fly <laughs> back down to Richmond like. Bro, the shit was crazy. So, you know, we used to do that shit hard. Like, I remember I ended up, I ended up linking up. We ended up linking up with um. Nah, that night, did he link link up? Yeah, he linked up with YG. I think was YG. That's like one of my favorite artists. Linked up with it. Nigga came to Richmond and shit. Like, I got some crazy ass footage. Like, the nigga ended up posting my shit on his page and shit. So, yeah, that shit was fun. Those days are fun, but I never do that shit again. Word. <laughs> I can I can respect that because like probably. From your earlier days, you looked at that as like a pinnacle or something. But actually going through it and experiencing it, you know what it's about. So now you, you you're kind of looking at doing different things with videography. Definitely, I feel like nowadays, like man, all these new video people, they got it easy. Like when I first came out, like motherfucking cameras were not cheap. Like you know what I'm saying? I think my first camera was like a T1i or some shit. Like I think that bitch was over a thousand dollars. Bitch didn't even shoot 4K. None of that. That's a T2I right there. Yeah, well, how much you pay for that? Like 180. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nigga, I had a T1I. A TI or whatever the fuck it was. Man, that shit, bro. Like, nowadays you can get a 4K camera for what, like $800 and shit like that. But it's like when when I was when I was coming up, like we didn't have that shit. We didn't have all the plugins and shit like that to make your life easier. Like I out for real, I wish I wish cameras were expensive still. I wish everybody, <laughs> not for real. I wish everybody could get a 4K camera and all that shit. I want all y'all motherfuckers. You gotta just, learn the hard way. Yeah, no, for real. I'm, I'm like, I'm like an old head in this shit. Like, yeah, yeah. I want y'all niggas to suffer just like I did. Fuck y'all. That's how I feel. Word. Yeah. Do you, you think? Oh, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I was about to say, you feel like it's um oversaturated, like who? Yeah, I th- with everything is oversaturated, but definitely with this video stuff, because you got people that's just doing it for the money. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Then you got you got people that will come in the game, they got like a six K camera and them dumb motherfuckers charging like two fifty for a video. And it's like it's like y'all fucking it up for niggas like us that actually know how to do this shit. 
that's actually creating art and all of that, and y'all want to fucking charge two fifty and make a quick buck because you broke as hell. Like shit be blowing me. Like I didn't, I didn't, man, I didn't have Richmond video people fucking go go behind my back or well, not, not like I fuck with them and shit, but like go behind my back and tell the artists that I'm fucking with, like yo, I shoot your shit for free. Let me fuck with you and all this crazy shit. I had artists hit me up like, yo, how about such such hit me up trying to shoot a video for free? You know what I'm saying? Saying that they work better than mine and shit. Oh. Yeah, bro. Like, bro. Bro, niggas really snaked me in Richmond. Like, for if real. you get it for free, get it for free. Plen- Don't be like, my shit better than. That's yeah. crazy. Yo, plenty of. Like, bro, it's too much money out here. Like, you taking, taking artists from other video people and trying to do old shiesty shit. Like, that shit, that shit whack as hell. So, so other camera guys aside, do you feel like, I guess the like your clients that that you shoot work for, do you feel like you get the respect that you, yes, I, I would say that you deserve as being the a videographer of the stature that you are. Oh yeah, I get respect. Niggas respect me. Like niggas, niggas know. Niggas know I've been in the game for a minute. So it's like you, you gotta respect me. You gotta respect it for real. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really never had that trouble before. And if, you know what I'm saying? If I work with an artist and they go work with another video dude, I don't care. Like, I, I want people to work with all the other video people out here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's too much money out here to be trying to take clients and shit from people and just get messy with it. Like, mm-hmm. I don't be understanding people. That's why I tell like, people be money hungry. They not even, they're not even in it to turn the artists up because, like, it's been, I didn't work with artists, you know what I'm saying, that I turned up of this video stuff. You know what I'm saying? Even with my whole fucking look back shit, I went viral with on DJ Academics when he posted me and tagged me. You know what I'm saying? After that, I made sure I turned artists up after that. You know what I'm saying? So, I do it. I do it because I want I want to blow artists up in Richmond. You know what I'm saying? What was that moment like for you? Like, like when a blog like that posted you? <laughs> so, up man, hey, sh- shout out to um, Mal Beach, Micah. So, hey, it's crazy. This is a fucking crazy story. So, I end up I end up getting a rental. I end up picking them up from Williamsburg. As I'm going to Williamsburg, I end up fucking getting pulled over by the police. I was going down a hill, and they said I was reckless driving, like some wild shit, like reckless driving. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I pick them up, tell them what happened. So it's another car following us that's coming with us to Atlanta, and I see the same car. I point. I'm like, look, look, that's the same car that pulled me over. I'm going to make sure I slow down this time. I slow down. Nigga pulls out. I'm like, man, I know this nigga not ready to pull me over. Nigga pulls me over again. He walk up to the car. I'm like, I'm like, dude, you serious? He's like, what you mean? Like, you was just doing reckless again. So, a nigga, ended up getting, I got two reckless oh. in less than 15 minutes. Yeah. Nigga, I thought I was going to jail. Cause you, you no, you know you can get, bro. They can lock you up. They can lock you up reckless. That's yeah. crazy. Nigga, I thought I was going to jail. So, anyways, we end up going out to Atlanta. You know, I'm drinking and shit. I'm off the 1942. I bought a bottle when I get out there. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to me. He put me on. But um, I'm like, I don't even want to talk about it. But um, Land, Land was um, <laughs> Land was there at the shit. And you know me, I'm goofy as hell. I'm turning up and shit. You know what I'm saying? In the video. And Land like, yo, I'm going to record you and throw you on my page. You know what I'm saying? The shit will go up. You know what I'm saying? I already know it's going to go up. So, you know, this had the time when Block Boy, Block Boy came out. He doing that little shoot dance. So I'm recording. I end up doing keep, like, keep end up, I got you. I end up doing the shoot dance or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, the nigga ended up throwing that shit up on his page that night and woke up in the morning. Like, that shit then went viral. You know what I'm saying? I threw it up on my page, I think, that night too. It went viral on his page. It went viral on my page. And like hours later, fucking DJ Academics ended up tagging me on the post and Bro, that nigga, you know, DJ had done, he never post, he never tag niggas on yeah. his post. Nigga ended up tagging me on this shit, like shouting me out, like my shit went up, like everybody hit me up. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? The shit was crazy. So, you know, shout out to Lan, even though I don't fuck with the nigga no more. You know what I mean? Shout out to him. Yo, tell me what it was like to be out recording during the riots downtown in the midst of the George Floyd shit. Man, seriously, like, it was it was an out and it was crazy. Like the first night, I actually wasn't going to go out there. Like I ended up seeing it on Facebook. Like, I seen somebody they was out there had like over a thousand viewers and shit. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, whatever. End up taking a shower. I got back in the bed. I got in the bed with my um, my shorty. 
And then I seen another one. Shit had like three, like three thousand people on it. I'm like, shit, I gotta go out here. So I told my shorty, she told me be safe or whatever. So at the time, before I totaled my bike, I'm riding my bike in downtown with my camera like on my back or whatever. And like you see a fucking helicopter. It's like a fucking movie. Helicopter like flies over top of me, like heading towards Richmond. I'm like, yo, this shit crazy. I got the fucking spotlight on this shit. You see the fucking light. Like, bro, it's like I got like adrenaline. It's like, man, my fucking hair is raising right now, for real. <laughs> it was like the fucking, you see the spotlight on like the city of Richmond. And like, when I get down there, it's over thousands of people, you know what I'm saying, just marching. You know what I'm saying? Yelling at the police, fuck the police, all this shit. Late night, like they end up setting the bus on fire. They clash with the police a little bit. So, you know, oh. I end up recording. I end up recording it and um I edited the shit. And I released that, I believe that night, I woke up the morning, it was like over like 20,000 views on it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Over hundreds and hundreds of fucking new followers and shit. So after that, you know what I'm saying? It, just, it felt like it was just my job to record every day. Like I record for 100 plus days. Dang. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I probably, out of all Dang. the 100 days, I probably took off like 10, 15 days at the most. You know what I'm saying? That's shit, nuts. This shit low key became like an addiction. You know what I'm saying? Like, just recording it, because, like, the police out here, like, these motherfuckers was ruthless. Right. You know what I'm saying? They were fucking people up. Like, I got all types of footage on my page. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. It's weird, because I built a relationship with the police. Like, the niggas know me by my first and last name. There they he follow- is. For now, for real. <laughs> hey, hey D'Amico. And the nigga, nigga always be like, hey, D'Amico, how's your new, newest video going? Nigga would tell me my new video I just posted. <laughs> all that shit. Like, the shit crazy, but them niggas never fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Shots on RPD. <laughs> was you scared? Like, was you uh, scared at all? D- during the protest? Yeah. I wouldn't say I was scared. It was like more like of like an anxious feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because you never knew what was going to happen every night. Like, something new always happened. You know what I'm saying? It, w- it was a night, Um, I think May 29th or 30th, before curfew. They said a curfew. And they end up tear gassing and all of us like 30 minutes before curfew. All right. Hey, that was the first time I ever got like tear gas for real. Like motherfucking shooting the shit. Shit flying in the air. There's smoke going everywhere. Like it's fucking old people, kids, animals outside. Like motherfuckers in wheelchairs. Niggas running mm. for their lives. Like, bro, That's this shit crazy. was fucking crazy. Then Stony bitch ass want to fucking... <laughs> n- nigga got reelected too. Fuck him. <laughs> you know what I mean? But... The nigga the next day, he tried to say, I'm sorry. And all he tried, he tried to get this bogus ass fucking... You know when they had him all city? Yeah, you know, they had him sitting in City Hall like, you know, I'm sorry. They bitch ass. Like, didn't even... Man, nigga didn't prove nothing. Then he, the nigga, I think that day, nigga said he was going to march with us and shit. The nigga ended up marching like halfway with us. Niggas told him to get on top of the Lee Monument with like the other people. And nigga was scared. He's like, I'm good on the ground. When I seen that shit, I was like, yeah, I know he's a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Fuck him. It's like, y'all niggas bought me this far. I'm not I'm not <laughs> doing everything y'all niggas tell me to do. Yo, it's it. like, bro, <laughs> all, it. bro, all he had to do is just listen to people and take our side and see what the police did. It's crazy because, like, the, pro- the police that tear gas everybody that day, like, they still haven't released their names. You know That's what I'm saying? Terrible. That was one of the demands to release the names of the, the officers that tear gas all the innocent, That's you terrible. know what I'm saying, kids and, you know what I'm saying, protesters. And they still haven't released that shit. So, yeah, Richmond City, they crazy. For real. Damn. He was like, nah, I ain't standing on that shit. <laughs> this is it. I've done enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> this they is got it. reelected. <laughs> Folks love him. I'm already here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> What else? Okay. What more do you want? <laughs> Shit crazy. I don't know much about him to like to judge either way, but yeah, from the looks of that situation. Yeah, no, it's crazy though, cause like he didn't he didn't actually did shit for like like he tried he tried to add more um like when they was trying to do the whole fucking um they was trying to make like a soup like a super shopping center or something downtown some wild shit like he was trying to bring like businesses to the black community and shit, which is cool, but. A lot, a lot of the shit that was all get like a lot of people were raised. You talking get, about down by the Coliseum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you talking so, about. So you know, you know that's that's that. like historical ground over there and shit, mm-hmm. like black neighborhoods, and you know a lot of them people is all have to move out. You know what I'm saying? So that would have fucked a lot of people up. But he mm-hmm. he would have brought black black businesses. You know what I'm saying? A place to go and shit. But it, I don't know. I don't know, man. 
Uh, from the protest, man, Stoney was a fucked up guy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> but he might be a good person. I don't know. But from like the protest, me being out there 100 plus days, like, man, that Stoney nigga fucked up, man. <laughs> Shit, crazy. My only image of him is I'm sorry. Yo, <laughs> yo bro, hey, hey, bro was sick. Bro was sick that day for real. Nigga was shook. A whole bunch of angry black and white people. Niggas wanted to hang his ass for real. Shawty was tearing him up, bro. I yeah. just remember seeing the lad. And I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, no, she definitely was. Look at this. Man, even the little kid, the little kid that had a little kid on the person back. <laughs> talking to him like nigga was shook. That's not an easy hey, job. Shut man. up. Shut the fuck up, Sony. <laughs> you, 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 you tear gas my mama. <laughs> Cussing him out. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nah, the, uh, the protests were crazy, though. For real, man. I almost got arrested a couple times through that shit. Really? I remember one time, like, I was, I was, um, I was out during curfew one time, like, after eight when they said curfew for the protesters. And we we marched down Broad Street. We marched down Broad Street and shit. And um fucking the police was on the east side of Broad. You know, like before you go sit down Shaco Bounce the light and then go down the hill. Yeah. We were like right there and yeah. the police surrounded both sides. These motherfuckers shot tear gas in the middle where we was both at. Right there? Yeah. Nigga, I ran I, I ran to the opposite side of the MCV hospital. People didn't know you run that way. It's no way to run. Like it's a fence and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause the the um the governor's house and shit, or whatever. All that shit's right there. So I end up running back the other way through the fucking tear gas into this the fucking MCV. Ran down the hill. I jump. I um I fell down. So you know the MCV kind of sit on the hill mm. and it goes down the hill. Then it's the highway. I end up rolling mm-hmm. down the hill. I hit the fence. I had to jump a fucking fence. Jump the fence. Fell down. Fell into the highway. I ended up flagging down this this old white man. Didn't know me. Flagged him down like, yo, I need your help. Please, like, let me in your car. I need to get out of here. Nigga looking shook. let you sh- in? Bro, nigga was shook. Like, <laughs> get in. Bro, I tried to unlock his back door. It wasn't unlocking. I tried to go through his front door. Bro, nigga probably thought I was trying to rob him. Bro, I opened up his driver's seat, bro. Trying to crawl over you top of You crawled over top of bro, him? Bro, I tried to. He like, no, the back door's unlocked. I go to the back door, unlock it. I hop in. His son in the passenger seat. Nigga look shook. I'm like, man, I keep thinking to nigga like, yo, thank you, thank you. What's your cash at? I ain't have no cash on. I'm ready to cash out. I mean, like, nah, you're good. He said, to be honest, like, I wasn't ready to pick you up. I thought you was going to try to rob me. You know what I'm saying? So I, I never forget that shit. If it was for him, man, I would have been ass out. You remember his name? I don't, he didn't even tell, I ain't even oh. ask him for his name. Like, nigga ended up <laughs> dropping me off at one of my homie cribs. That's crazy. My homie ended up dropping me off at my bike downtown. I ended up jetting home. Shout out that nigga, man. Nah, <laughs> whoever, for real, whoever he was. For real, though. Damn. That's crazy. Bro, I can only imagine. Because I'll be thinking about that shit. Like, of course, you know what I'm saying? The march and shit. But, like, that that's the easy part. But, like, when it start turning up, like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, what's, and I, I, I ain't gonna even say march, I ain't gonna even say marching is the easy part. Because it's a whole lot of people. Like, I don't even post shit. It's some people that'll post shit about, you know what I'm saying, everything that's going on. Like it's fucked up, and you got the people on the forefront. So I ain't gonna say it's easy, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? That's the first step to going out exactly. there, and then it turn up, and you like, oh shit, I ain't expect this. I ain't go so out. Like, I was gonna kill somebody, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I ain't go out there, and bro, I'm not- glad when I made that post about if you need somebody to protect. I'm glad nobody hit me up because oh, I would have shot somebody, <laughs> bro. Nah, the shit was crazy though, for real. Then like towards the end, like they had the whole Trump supporters and shit. Niggas clash with the Trump supporters. Sure. Word? I didn't even know about that. Yeah, niggas was doing Trump trains. They was driving down Broad Street, driving down fucking um, uh, fucking where the um uh, Monument Monument Ave and all that shit. Shit was wild. I told a lady, I told, I told a nigga wife, I was gonna grab by her pussy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> bro, and, 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 and I ain't gonna lie, I, bro. I was wilding out when it came, bro. They pissed me off, bro. They was. They was being racist as hell and all that. I was talking shit like, I'm going to beat the shit out your son. Like, <laughs> nigga had a little kid in the back seat. <laughs> bro, I told a nigga, I said, I'm going to beat the shit out your son. Like, He's bro, three. Yo, bro, nigga was like nine. Like, <laughs> bro, I was wild out. I said, nah, get my son to beat your ass. Like, bro, I was, I was wild now. I was supposed to record that day, but I couldn't, bro. I had too much emotion. Yeah, right. for real. Yeah, man. But look, we definitely appreciate you doing that, man. That was I was tuning into your page every day just to Dang. see what the fuck was going on. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Shit, shit was crazy for real. Long nights, a line, a lot of long nights. You know what I'm saying? A lot of nights I wasn't 
there with my girl and son, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to get sentimental. Hey, no, shout out to them, though. No, shout out to them, though. No, for real, because shit, like, yeah, I was I was in the trenches for real. Word. All right, we're going to go ahead and move over to the freestyle oh. topic. <laughs> <laughs> this is a clown. <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas ever done something y'all regret to this day? Start with you, Nico. Uh, I beat Ugly my, my dick in middle school. <laughs> no, I'm playing. No, 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 for real. Like, I regret it a couple of times. Like, you I nigga regretted it, it once, did it again, and regretted it again. No, nah, no, nah, for real, though. <laughs> so it, it was it was like two artists that, um, that end up blowing up. And like, I didn't curve them, but I took too long to work with them. So yeah, they end up blowing up, so. Damn. I regret wasting time. Did you hit him up like, yo, what's up, bro? Nah, yeah, nah. You gonna look retarded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, I already knew what was up, so I ain't even hit them. But yeah. That. Damn. Ain't no story behind it? Like, nah, we need to talk about the story. Oh. oh shit. He was like, y'all shit whack. <laughs> nigga, bye. This nigga is garbage. Why is he DMing me? Hey, no, no, no. He left real, that shit on red. <laughs> nah, nah, real shit, though. They sent me some trash ass music. Oh. Okay. And, like, they, they had. Song that they already shot for that was hard. Right. Like they just kept sending me trash and I was like, You got anything else? Uh, and I guess they took that the wrong way and Yeah. Oh, that damn. was their motive. Fuck Nico, I'm gonna go take off now. Hey, at least I wasn't faking and was like, damn bro, this shit hard. Nah, that's real. Damn son, where'd you find this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What me. about you? Me? Yeah. I'll go fuck it. This is a, I remember back in back in high school I was playing baseball. And like, y'all remember the baseball team? That shit was trash. Yeah, y'all like, used to um, y'all used to fuck all the. Nah, all right, we, we didn't, we didn't, I heard stories about y'all, yo, little, y'all motherfuckers. Baseball team won't good at all. So like, we was probably on like our fifth loss or some shit somewhere in, <laughs> in the. I don't even know when it was, but I started acting acting like acting like a bitch. Like <laughs> like every time what? every time we lost, like depending on how much we lost, like we had to run a certain amount of whatever God, shit. Dude. And I, I guess I was feeling myself and like I ain't running that shit. So like the coaches really liked me because I always did shit right. I was a nigga. I ain't never do no no fuck shit. I did whatever they asked me to. But I was acting weird that night. Nigga was like, <laughs> nigga Coach Walker. Nigga Coach Walker was like, so what are you doing? You're not gonna run? So I was like, I was walking and shit, being retarded. He was like, go home. <laughs> nigga sent me home. <laughs> Nigga sent me home. It was it was like nine o'clock at night. Nigga sent me home, and I felt so bad about that shit because like they did everything to like to like invest in me as a player, and and show me that that like they were trying to develop me and shit. And I was acting like a dickhead. You showed your yourself. I showed my ass, bro. <laughs> Niggas that I was telling, me. bro. I was <laughs> feeling like I was too shit. sweet for that shit. Like I want that sweet at baseball. No, you I won't. really won't. But I thought I was, shit. I thought I was too cool. <laughs> I think it was too cool for school. I was trying to be too cool, but nigga sent me home, bro. Bro thought he was on top of the world. Nigga humble the world quick. <laughs> nigga said, he was like, like, you know what? You don't got to run. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's funny. But yeah, I regretted that shit because like, yeah, they ain't deserve that shit. But like every time I seen him, like I seen, like every time I see Coach Walker, I be like, damn, man, I feel so bad about that shit. He was like, bro, you apologized to me like 10 times. Yo, leave it alone. <laughs> That's Man. funny. Dumbass. Shit. <laughs> what about you? Bitch. Oh, me? Y'all talking about me? Nah. Regret. I stole these Man. Pokemon cards. Hell nah. Hey. That is, hey, yo, <laughs> that is a regret, that. bro. I did some shit like that, you too. You stole some Pokemon cards? Oh, about that. shit, no. bro. Damn, I don't know if I talked about that on here. I didn't. What? But nah. How you regret buying that, that jacket? Nah, man. This shit <laughs> cute. But nah. Nah, I was a little dude. And like back then, you know, like, like, man, we used to get the bullshit same cars. The Pikachu. We used to get the same bullshit. The, the Rocket cars. Mm, Team yeah. Rocket. The Energy mm-hmm. cars or whatever. <laughs> so me and Ant was outside, bro. And Lil Dude had some crazy cars <laughs> oh, I've never seen, man. bro. Holographics I've never seen in my life, bro. So Japanese like, Jones. Yeah, bro. So I was like, man, let me see those Jones, bro. <laughs> So we, so we got them Jones, bro. He's like, let me see, hey, let me see them Jones. Let me see the cards. I'm like, let me see those Jones, bro. So man, and we walk off, we walk off and shit. So we like, we like, oh shit, them shit's hard, bro. I'm getting this Jones. So but we just start taking the Jones. We like, oh, I here, bro. Give him his cards back, and we done already took out Jones. 
So we we go we go in the crib and shit. But we come back. This little nigga standing at the tree like nigga that turned super saying he's shaking and shit like yeah. <laughs> This nigga shaking, bro. Where's my Charizard? Hey, hey, bro, that's what he said, bro. Yo. That is what he said. Give me my Charizard. Oh, nigga shit. Was shaking I was shit, guessing. Bro. No, bro. No, I, t- I told you that shit, bro. No, I ain't take that. Hey, oh, hold and, on. And took the no, Charizard? No, I ain't take that shit. Shut up. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah, yeah bro. Nigga but that nigga, but I'm like, bro, that nigga was like, he had to be like six, six or seven, bro. Oh, you who, a predator who, like, praying on kids. Shut, shut up, nigga. It was Pokemon nah, cards. It was Pokemon yeah, cards, bro. Shit. I hate both of y'all. <laughs> was that the but one nah, you was going to say, though? That's it. Nah, I, nah, bro. I was about to think of some, some bullshit. I was about to say I regret working at GameStop and shit. Mm. Some bullshit GameStop like that. Shit, I regret really working point. at the old people home, for real. Oh, bro. shit. <laughs> Seeing the motherfuckers die, for oh, real. Damn. Nah, nah, real shit. Oh, my God. Bro, you... Bro, you <laughs> You get oh my god! You, this nigga. <laughs> yeah, you get acquainted to them motherfuckers, and they end up and dying the next day. Like, Damn. what the fuck? Yeah, that, that shit, shit was is wild. depressing. That shit was depressing, man. I remember my cousin used to work at the old joint, and he used to be like, "They'll they order something." They'd be like, "Yeah, can I get the ravioli?" She'd be like, "Okay." He'll go get the junk, and then he'll come back. All right, here you go. And they be like, I did not order this. Yo. I did not order this. Yo. Yo. Yo, a lot of, <laughs> hey, hey <laughs> some, of the, some of like the old white people would be racist as hell, call you nigger and shit. <laughs> oh. Bro, shit was, <laughs> yo, yo, shit was wild. You know what's crazy? Like, funny story. I used to, um, I used to get homies and shit to call up, call up to the fucking, um, the old people home and say that my sister's in the hospital. Mm. Like, she's real sick and she's in the hospital. I can leave and shoot a music video and shit. Oh, but you know, wow. I don't got no sister, so it didn't really matter. That's wild. Yeah. I ain't, it don't really affect me. Ain't it no karma count. coming back. Bro, she used to be wild. Like, the, the, the death lady, she'd be running down the hall. D'Amico! D'Amico, oh your, your sister, she, she's in a hospital again. You need to go. <laughs> Yo. And I'd be, like, I'd be like, oh my God, like, thank you. And I'd leave. Bro, she was sick when I think about it. <laughs> nigga be bro. dropping shit. Oh! <laughs> no, nigga pass on. That's crazy. And I, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Follow your dream, man. That's what's up, bro. Hey, that's, hey, that's, it I, is. That's fucked up, but that's at the same time. Yeah, I used to buck on Pizza Hut, too. Hey, shout out to Jelani, my nigga, man. Fucking nippy for now. Like, nigga gave my first job, Pizza Hut. Gave Word. my second job, fucking old people home. Shout oh, out to him. That's crazy. Pizza. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't got shit else to say yeah, about Yeah, nah, Pizza was crazy though. I remember the first day my manager, nigga dropped a cup of cheese on the ground, scooped that bitch off the ground. Man, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to put on the no fucking pizza. pizza. Yes. Damn. Pizza at Metal Dell. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right there. That's crazy. Sick. You order you order from no, that I shit. Did. Hey, I ain't had nigga. pizza in some yeah. shit, bro. Yeah, you was working back you, you was living back then. Hey, nah, I Yo, had pizza in some shit. Yo, that shit. He said crazy. I was living back then. I was living in the fucking back. You was in the area. <laughs> yeah. You from <laughs> ain't you from Metadale? Hey, hey, why nigga used to do jokes like hey, that? that? I used to Metadale. Hey, hey. 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 Metadale University. You a Metadale nigga. Yo, what the fuck is wrong you know with niggas, cra- bro? Yeah. You know what's crazy? Bro, I never forget, me and my homie, bro, we was walking through Metal Dell one time. This was back then, like, when Metal Dell was, like, motherfuckers used to get robbed and killed in Metal Dell. Like, I remember we was walking through Metal Dell, and that's when they used to rob niggas. Like, nigga up seeing us walking down the street, like, hey, hey, what the fuck y'all doing around here? I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. We don't, we don't turn their way. We just kept walking fast. Then they come close. Nigga be like, oh, that's D'Amico. What's up, man? Got the free pass. He <laughs> think he's so sweet, bro. And our real shit, bro. Bro, they was ready to drag us, bro. <laughs> Luckily, I played football and they knew me. You lucky you, Miko. Hey. Hey, good yeah. game last night. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's funny. <laughs> good shit. times. Good times. I ain't got shit. I'll say, what about you? I ain't got shit, man. Bet, man. We want to shout out to Miko, man. Thanks for stopping by, kicking it with us, man. Getting us drunk and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> we been talking about this nigga. Look, we didn't talk about this nigga. Everybody like else. Episodes, talk, yeah. Bro. Fuck yeah. you. Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, fuck y'all too. Nah, I appreciate y'all letting me come through. You know, this is my first official interview. So, you know, this shit was a blessing for real. No, yeah, no question. You y'all keep doing your y'all motherfucking thing, man. Hopefully, this shit. Well, when did, I hope this shit. You know what? I can't wait till this shit blow it's up. Crack you know off. what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, motherfuckers you. paying y'all. Labels paying y'all to do interviews and appreciate shit. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? That's what be dope as hell. Appreciate you. You want to drop your socials? Uh, my social media, your social, yeah. Um, <laughs> Instagram at Big Daddy Kane one on one. Nah, um, it, um, at D'Amico Phillips, D O M I C O P H I L L I P S. Everything. Word. Google me, 
pop up. Nigga said, Google me. Google me, baby. <laughs> nah, real shit. You know me. I ain't dropping no more social niggas. Them shit's going to pop up at the end. They know this uh, shit. Look out for the, for, for the new Richmond podcast. Uh, what's that shit called? OnlyFans. Yeah, we're going we gonna to drop that shit. No homo. We're going to put up Yo. The, <laughs> the behind the scenes uh, wide angle footage. Oh, we gonna, my We're going to throw that shit up there. <laughs> um, you want to say something? Shit. Follow us at um, goddamn New Richmond Podcast. A little ugly. Nah. Yeah, all right. Man, man, shout out to everyone, man. Shout out to my jeweler, man. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey right. you flossing. Hey, you look at ice is a God damn. Some slight God shit. Damn. This nigga getting too much money. Slight shit. Hey, man, we up out of here, man. Peace. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>